Hello, good day. So, what is the value of an RV? Today I'm going to talk about, obviously, the value of an RV, but the fact that pretty much anything with a motor, if not everything with a motor, goes down in value, not up. So, pretty much any vehicular device is a liability, not an asset. It may count towards your net worth if you were to sell it, if you didn't go into debt over it, even then it would probably still mathematically improve your net of worth, even though the original purchase was a definitely a bad wealth building idea. However, the actual fact that you don't make money off of it, you spend money on it, or maybe if you have a job that requires a vehicle, then you can and you can say with labor comes some kind of pay. But usually, a difference between a thousand dollar reliable vehicle and a twenty thousand dollar reliable vehicle doesn't really matter in that case, and the vehicle itself is still going to go down in value. And that includes RVs which, you know, or motorhomes of some type or another, they go down in value drastically, just like most motored vehicles. Even though it is, even if you take the wheels off or put in and or put in cement so it can't really drive anymore, it's still a motorhome. It's still on the market. It's perceived, perceived as a, not as a home, but as a, vehicle and therefore it is going to go down in value and okay it's okay to have an rv if it's a small part of your world if you put a hundred thousand dollars into an rv you have to understand that five years from now that's probably going to be a ten thousand dollar v rv the loss is drastic and with a RV uh, what people may occasionally end up doing is thinking they can replace a hundred thousand dollar RV with a you know or replace a house however expensive that may be to a hundred thousand dollar RV except an RV is going to go down in value in addition even if your land goes up in value and so it may look like if it's a cheaper RV that you're still making profit, and the RV itself is still going down in value. Now, if you're, you know, if it's just another toy, then that's perfectly fine. It's a small part of your financial world, then as long as you understand that, that you're not making money, you're spending money for the sake of enjoyment, and you have that money to spend, and that money is not a significant priority to be used elsewhere, then that's perfectly fine. However, as an investment, an RV is a terrible idea. And just in general, you know, using it as your home is also not a very good financial move. And the reason for that is in, normally a house will go up in value, assuming that, you know, in the future it's people are going to want it more, people are going to want the safety and comfort of a home, the actual value of the house, especially a single resident house, tends to go up while a motor goes down. And usually a home can be a great investment. The fact of you're not having to pay any more mortgage or you know, those kind of rent or mortgage, basically, can drastically decrease your cost of living expense. However, it is also a valuable tool, especially when you are not in the home of your dreams that you plan to be in for 40 years or however long, but a home that you plan to move up in 5, 10 years or a couple of years. At least, though, you're probably going to want to live in the home a couple of years, unless, or at least plan to, before you do that. Because 
and the security and the motion of moving constantly can have some expensive effects. So hopefully this helps you guys to understand that an RV, at least as an investment, is a terrible idea. As a home, it is not really a good idea. It is best to be avoided. And as a toy, that's perfectly fine, but make sure it's a small part of your world. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you'd like to hear more content like this, feel free to subscribe, and have a good day.